Hello friends in YouTube. Before I start uh, on this video I first want to show you the latest tool I've got from uh, the US from AskEgo.com. It's the new feather uh, knife, it's a hot knife and uh, I will be working in this video with this new tool. I'm very glad I have one and when you want to find this tool on the internet you can see the on the lines above. But special thanks to Robert Reed for sending me a new tool. Very glad I have one. Thank you very much. Ik ben Mandy en ik wil een pixie haarkapsel. Oké, okay, Mandy is back to have a, a new hairstyle after two and a half weeks, and she wants a pixie hairstyle. And we're gonna cut her with the ultra uh, latest uh, hot spacer of uh, Echo, and I will give her a stunning uh, new pixie hairstyle with a little bit new color. We we'll turn for you in the rest of the world to show how your hair is now. And that's a nice turn, thank you very much. <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube, after two and a half weeks I'm going to do her hair again. She has a bob on one line and we're going to make it into a pixie. And she loves uh, to color her hair also, so I'll give her a new color over this color so they will uh, work together in the, having the color. And we'll put a VV at all, it's a violet tone of Goldwell on it. And then we get a special red violet color. And a lot of shine adding to her hair. Style of protection like I always do. And now I take off all the things she puts into it. Mm. Rubber band and clips. So she wears it uh, mostly short. Start by wetting the hair. Don't wash it because we're going to color it. Now I come the water through the hair. And then I'm going to part it over the skull bone to start on the short neckline. Start by parting over the center of the skull and onto the skull bone. And the hairs above the skull bone I lay apart. So now I have a free neckline to work on. This gives a little bit extra moist. I need this for my hot tool. I want to work with the new tool of Ergo. They sent me one. It's the new tool. It's wonderful. I have also a new control light. Start on the center. Knowing that I have to have a pixie on the ear lines. So the line will be laying here. I'm going to work also on that line with a take away all the weight that the bob has. The nice thing of working with a hot uh, razor is that you have no damage at all to the hair. I just love the tools. Especially when it's now summertime, the damage on the hair by the sun is also immense and when you use a hot tool like this you don't feel pulling just gently travels through the hair no force at all for your nixon eh? yeah. i asked her in dutch if she can feel it but she don't feel this because when i put the knife on it you see it just melting through the hair no burning some people think that hairs burn but they don't Lay the hairs to the front, make a nice soft line. And the nice thing of this hairstyle she gets now is that her uh, volume of the skull will be wonderful to see because she has a wonderful skull to work on. This is my first line. To get a clean cut, take the hairs that lay above the neck hairs aside and I clean up this hair that's laying in the other direction. So I'm certain that I have a wonderful fall of the hair afterwards. 
and do this of course on both sides now I part the hair from the center of the skull and till I get behind the ears and do this on both sides so I have something like a horseshoe over the center of the skull I can see the skull bone and that's where I'm going to work on of course first make sure the hair is wet part hair over the center take it away so I can see what the skull does be laying beneath it now I work the hairs to the back laying them over the skull bone be sure that I stay on the underline of the ear just gently work this line out Now I bend it over the line and give it the rounding it needs to get a better fall. And of course I do this on both sides. So on this side I bend the hairs to her right side. Watch at the underline of the ear go in and gently lay the hairs over the rounding of the skull now lay the hairs back into the rounding and just minor corrections to the line it's not much but you just want to be sure that it lays in line with the hairstyle coming to the front part on the eyebrow line to the back with the nares and now I need to get into the lines of perfect fall of pixie in her case I will work under the ear lines I don't thin it out I need all the hair I get because I need the structure on top and connect them to the line I already made take a new line on it part it over the same line get myself a new line on it now I'll start on the back because I'm over the rounding of the skull so I'm laying on top so I need the hairs to travel to the front lay them in the natural lines bend them in the natural lines give them a slight graduation I come to the back to see if the fall is right and it is so I've got, got myself a wonderful line on the ears a lot of volume on the sides and it will lay wonderful into the line of the neckline I show you that you can see it travels nicely into the lines and do this on both sides coming on the center of her skull laying all the hairs in the natural lines starting on the back working straight down laying all the hairs just over the skull bone I'm, I love it very much that she takes off this hair because her hair will be in a lot better condition than it was with the bob and a nice thing a lot of you already comment that she should go shorter but I didn't expect her in less than two weeks 
but I love her, so it is quite all right. Again, the old hairs to the back. Watch at the fall. It's wonderful. So now I go to the other side. Okay, told you that I would do this on both sides, so I do. Take the hairs straight down. And the nice thing of this pixie is that she wants, if she wants to grow back to a bob, it's very easy to grow back. Give the hairs a graduation to the back. Part a new line on it. all the hair. Angle of 45 degrees I part on the tip of the eyebrow to the front. Now it's bent a bit, now it's water. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to change is she wants the fall to be in a, a, a ultra uh, long uh, fringe, so that's why I'm going to make her leaning on the parts of the right side, working my way to the left side, knowing that I have to stop on the ear and connect to this line. Take the hairs over to this side, travel one more time over the same line and make just minor adjustments, not more than that, just this small amount. Again, take all the hairs to the front, on the center line of the skull, go in with my hot knife. I can't imagine that I have no hot knife because I'm working for almost uh, 35 years with hot uh, tools and hot knife for more than 15 years and I love it every day. So I couldn't live without it. Take all the hairs on the top from the center line of the skull. And here I make a little bit playable effect just with the tip of my knife. Just a little bit playable on top. Not much. Just to be sure I have a nice pixie hairstyle. And already her cut is ready. Cola. Is that your mooi? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't see it before. I see it before. I see it before. So now I'm going to make her a collar. Back from making a collar, I will use a Fifi at all to create a wonderful purple shade on her head. You have to use the tools that come with it, otherwise they get damaged. The wonderful thing about Illum is that it nurses the hair and it gives a wonderful glow to the hair. It don't use activators, so no damage at all to the hair. Just a stunning new color. The 
stay a little bit away from the skin otherwise I get spots that I don't get off and the smell is wonderful Kijk lekker hè? Ja. Now I have all the elum on her hair. So now I'm going to close my plastic foil. Wait for 50 minutes, rinse it out, lock it, and then I'm back to style her hair. <laughs> so we'll be back. Okay, we're back from coloring. I closed the elim with the lock and now I'm going to uh, blow dry her hair. I want to leave it in a smooth line, so I use uh, from Lanza a smooth. This I apply on the hair, cover through the hair, and then I'm going to blow dry it with a large brush. to get the rest into the hair. Start drying in the neckline and using a large brush. Building some volume on the back of her head. Mooi hè, die ogen Ik zie in één keer zo'n hele fok vol wat ziet eruit knallen. Laat ik de watermonicule los. Okay. Drying it as natural as I can, holding the most wonderful lines. So far, blow drying. Going to work with the dry texture spray. It holds the hair very movable. It smells wonderful. And this is a new pixie hairstyle. A stunning purple red color. Ooh. New again. <laughs> okay, my love, you may show this hairstyle to the world by turning around. And thank you for being mother. on YouTube for those who would love to know which products I used and which tools. This hairstyle uh, of Mandy was made with the latest uh, hot tool of Ergo. It's a wonderful new tool. It's a hot razor, it's 190 degrees Celsius, works very gentle to the hair and it's very easy to use. So it's a wonderful tool to work with. Then I colored her hair. I used the Vivi et al. of Hulum. This product gives a wonderful color and it uh, must be sealed with uh, luck. Styling I did with uh, using a smooth of Lanza. Uh, it's a wonderful product, it, it keeps a lot of movement in the hair. And I want, didn't want to make a stiff hairstyle, so that's what I first used. 
and then I finished it with a dry texture spray. This has no much hold, it's a hold 5, so it's in the medium sector, so the hair will be very playable and very uh, jolly to work with. It has, it has a very nice touch because it's not hard, it just moves around and it holds the hair as they want. In the photos you've seen, uh, I, you see also a glow. That is because I've made in the photos, I used serum, so I get no more flexibility and the colors pop out and that's what you saw. I thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I see the comment on it, but you will see me next time making a new wonderful model for you. Thank you for watching, till next time, bye bye.